What is up guys, The Casey's here, and today we're gonna go into part four of social media app. We're gonna fix a problem that I kind of created in the code, and uh, we're gonna work on getting our cells for our posts um, designed in this video, and uh, hopefully you guys will gain some info from this. So let's get right into it. So when we're in the view, let's just add a new table view cell. Um, scrolling through down here to find one. Don't see it, so let's just search it. I'm gonna drag that cell in here. And uh cell is gonna be the size of the cell is of course gonna vary. Um we're gonna have three different views. It's a view, I believe. Yes. Um so we're gonna have one at the top. Not very tall. Maybe 40? 40 tall is fine. And then one at the bottom. The same size as that. And then in the middle, we're gonna have a label. Um, okay. So let's throw in a label. Move it down a little bit. Perfect. Right there. So let's pin the top view. Oh. Let's pin that top view. Um, give it a height of 40. 0, 0, and 0, add 4 constraints, and the bottom one, same thing, height of 40, 0, 0, and 0, perfect, and then this label is going to be pinned 0, 0, 0, and 0, perfect. Um, now this might be going a little bit off from the design that I originally intended, um, but you guys can fix that. This this is mainly just to show you guys the programmatic side of it, not necessarily the design aspects, because that stuff's pretty easy. Um, just takes a little bit of work for the design, and you should be able to get it. Um, but we're gonna throw this one in ten from the side, both sides. Perfect. Um, we can just copy this little image, paste that in there. It's gonna be not 44, 30 by 30. I think that's fair. And that's gonna be in this view. We can align it vertically in the container. And then we'll say like 10 from the side, 8 from the side. Add ah, 10. I'll get 10. There we go. And we're going to, of course, have the user's name. So let's drag it on the label. And this one is going to be 8 from the side, 0 over here. Add those two. And then uh, vertically and contain. Perfect. And we're gonna to wanna to make this one bold. The, the system font style, bold, bold. Perfect. Text, and then we're gonna have a button in the bottom one. Zero. From the side, we have a fix with the height. And uh, align vertically. We're gonna change this to a uh, comment. And of course we're gonna have to fix that width. Delete the width. And uh, the spacing is gonna be 10 as well. So there we go, comments, click the comments. It's gonna segue you to a new view. Label is gonna be the text uh, from the user. Which we want, of course. Lines. Oh, it's gonna be zero. The lines on the label are gonna be zero. And I think that looks good. Yeah. That looks good, and uh, what do we wanna do now? We're gonna add a function, so when they press the share something, it takes them to a new view. So let's create that new view. Right here. And if you guys are wondering why, um, 
this storyboard looks different. It's probably because I haven't updated my uh, Xcode. I think this is version five, version five, something like that. Um, beta version five. And they moved it down to the bottom, which I thought was kind of cool because it was kind of going back to that old style. But uh, they changed it back. So now they're back up on the top. To post. Uh, to create post. That looks good. Copy that. To the view controller. And. Um, In Selfero index path, what is that? VVC. All right, we can say cell dot button. Does the cell have a button? Let's see. Oh no, it doesn't. Let's add a button in the cell. Sorry if I sound kind of like tired. I'm getting sick right now. So, weak var uh, share button. Type a UI button. Save that. And then in the PDVC, we can say cell.share button dot add target. Yeah, add target. Target is going to be self action. It's going to be hashtag selector. And then for UI control events dot touch up inside. Yeah, touch up inside. You, you don't need the UI control events. You can just say dot touch up inside. And we need to create a new function similar to this. I'm just going to copy it twice. Paste that. And uh, delete this. And the function is going to be called uh, to to post to create post. I guess is better. Copy that and just paste that in the selector. Perfect. Now in here we're going to say perform preform. No, it is perform. Paste that in there. And the sender is going to be no. Save that. And our app should be working. Um, I apologize for the short video. Um, we still got a lot done in this video. Um, my schedule has been super busy. Uh, that's why I haven't been live and stuff like that. Um, but we got a lot done. I encourage you guys to go out and try and figure out how to... Um, Create the posts. If you want, you can uh, look back at the old video. Um, but try and figure it out. Get a good understanding of it before you go into the next video. And uh, drop a like on this video if it helped you in any way. And subscribe to the channel if you like coding videos. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.